The kingdom of Deltora is shrouded in darkness. There once was a time when the belt of Deltora protected the kingdom from such evil. It was Arden, the first king, who forged the belt and affixed the seven tribal gems to it. Each gem had a unique and magical power, and united, they made Deltora unconquerable. However, the gems were stolen and scattered to seven of the most dangerous places in the land. This was the doing of the evil Shadow Lord, who then conquered and ruled the land by terror. It is in dark hours that true hope and courage are born. Out of this despair, a boy would step forward to defy the Shadow Lord and search for the seven gems. These are the adventures of Leaf, Barda, and Jasmine. Inside the city of the rats, our three heroes hide while an Akbaba flies over them. To pass the time, Jasmine asks Leaf to tell her about his father, Jared. When Endon became king, Jared learned that the kingdom had secretly come under the rule of dark forces. He tried to warn Endon, urging him to wear the belt of Del Toro as their first king had. But before he could explain, Jared was forced to flee the palace. But he left a coded note for Endon, asking him to send a signal if he ever needed his help. At last, Jared saw it, a golden arrow shining at the top of the tallest tree. My father, filled with hope, ran to the palace thinking everything was about to change. He didn't know that during the night a woman had lost her life. That nursemaid's name was Min. She raised my father and King Endon. She was Barda's mother. needs my help. Could that toy arrow be from him too? That's odd. Wake the bear. Do not fear. Scurry, scurry, little mouse, into your small cozy house. Now you must lift the lid. You'll be glad that you did. This is how Endon used to write when we were kids. Yes, I'm sure of it. Endon drew the picture, too. It must be some sort of code. Wake the bear. Do not fear. That's it. But how am I going to lift this thing? What's this? Hmm. This line was scurry, scurry, little mouse. <clears throat> this sure is a cozy house. <sighs> Dead end. <clears throat> Wait. The message said lift the lid. This must be it. It leads to the 
chapel. Who goes there, huh? Don't move. My name is Jared. I'm a blacksmith by trade. Did you just say your name is Jared? It really is you. You found my note. You've come. Is that you, Endon? Can you ever forgive me? I never should have questioned your loyalty to me back then. You were right all along, Jared. I've come to realize that you were the only one I could ever really trust. I'm begging you, please help us. A king should never kneel before anyone, Endon. Now get up so I can see your face better. wearing that crown on your head, but I can see it's still you. I didn't even recognize you with that beard. King Brandon created that passage. It's a secret known only to the royal family. Even the chief advisors know nothing of it. You wrote this when you fled the palace, didn't you? Have you waited for me all this time? I knew that one day you'd find that note and learn the truth. What's wrong? Don't tell me that's our dear old men. It happened last night. It was quite late in the evening. She came to my chambers, trembling with fear. She said she heard something horrible when she was working in the sewing room. What could have scared her that badly? She said I had enemies in the palace. A handful of people, but she heard them making plans for a big attack. A great evil is to strike at daybreak. At first I didn't believe her, tried to reassure her. Told her to go back to bed and get some rest. When morning came, we found her at the bottom of a flight of stairs. They said she had an accident and fell, but I don't believe that's really what happened. And that's why you signaled me to come. I saw the seven Akbaba earlier today. What? You saw them here in Dell? They're probably flying over the palace as we speak. <gasps> so Min wasn't mistaken. Once again, I've ignored a friend. <laughs> Endon, listen to me. You must go to the tower right now and put on the belt of Del Tora. No. If the Akbaba are already here, it's too late. Are you all right, Endon? Yes, Sharn, I am. <clears throat> it's all right. This is Jared. Oh, Jared, I'm so pleased you've come to help us. Your Majesty, I am here to do what I can to fight whatever this evil is that plagues Del Tora. But we must act quickly. We must go to the tower, so that Endon can reclaim the belt and its powers. But the rule doesn't allow me to do that. Forget the rule. Endon, how long are you going to live your life by that nonsense? You don't understand. There are no excuses. You are the king, Endon. I believe that means that your duty to protect Del Tora is far greater than any need to obey the rule. <sighs> We must get the belt now. Let's hurry to the tower. It's an Akbaba! Let's head in for the tower! Quick, get the nets! Get back down here, Barda. Captain? Don't be reckless. I heard about your mother. Why don't you go and see her? Her body lies in the royal chapel. It's said that the king himself requested she be placed there when he found out. Last night she came by the guardhouse in a panic. She told me I needed to leave the palace immediately. Why would she say that? I have a feeling that she knew something about this attack. I told her I would never leave the palace, that my duty as a guard keeps me here no matter what. I still believe that. And I know my mother would understand if she were still with us. If we're able to fend off these evil beasts and protect the palace, then I'll go pay my respects. I'm going. Barda! You'll pay for that! Get into the 
Treasure key to open the keep! No! Let's go. Oh. This is terrible. Where's the belt gone? Ah! You vile creature. Ah! Jared! Huh? All the gems have been taken. We were too late. Too late. <laughs> Brandine. So, Jared, you have risen from the dead and come to interfere once again. But you are too late. Soon, very soon, Del Toro will bow beneath my master's shadow. You've lied to me my whole life! End <laughs> all. <off. laughs> <laughs> Nobody move! This dagger is covered with a deadly poison. One tiny scratch in the end will come very quickly indeed. As it did for your mother and father. And also, your precious nursemaid, King Andon. You betrayed your king and your land! You think this is my land? Oh no. Like all the chief advisors before me, my loyalty is to another place and a far greater master. How amusing that you still believe I care for this pathetic kingdom. King Andon, you are the last in a line of royal buffoons. You all thought you were in control, but little by little, we robbed your family of power. You were puppets moving as we pulled the strings, and at last the time has come to take the only thing left protecting you. Finally, the blacksmith Arden's accursed work has been undone. The belt of Del Tora is no more! But you'll never be able to destroy the Seven Gems. They are to be scattered far and wide. Hidden where no one will ever be able to find them. And I'm sorry, but when your queen and her unborn brat are no more, the gems will become mere pebbles. No! Don't! <laughs> <laughs> I thought I saw something. But it's nothing at all! You believe you can still be saved? I wouldn't dare. Who could save us now? <laughs> so you say. You two, stay where you are. <sighs> if you move, I'll destroy your painted doll of a queen. <laughs> There's no need to look. No one's there. <laughs> a likely story. <laughs> <laughs> you think to do that? I knew he wouldn't be able to resist having a look. I mean, I'm just a painted doll. Hmm. Endom, I must say, you are very fortunate to be married to such a courageous woman. We've lost the protection of the belt. There's nothing to stop the Shadow Lord from gaining complete control over Del Tora. We must hurry to the tunnel and leave the palace.
Come on, you two. We shouldn't stay here too long. I can't go. I've led the kingdom to this fate. I can't just abandon the palace. I can't abandon my people. You have no choice, Endon. You have to go into hiding for a while. Right now, your only concern should be keeping yourselves safe. If anything should happen to you, there'll be no hope. Del Toro will be lost to the Shadow Lord forever. He's right, Endon. We must flee the city and find a place to hide. But I can't just run away from this. I've got to find the gems and return them to the belt. Why don't we go to my forge for now? I can fix the belt there and you can rest a bit. It's much too dangerous for us to stay and talk here. Please take this, Your Majesty. Mm. You'll catch a cold. How generous. I see you're with child. Do you know when? It's in early autumn. I hope both our babies are healthy and strong. I do as well, Your Majesty. Please, you can call me Sharn. And what is your name? That's very kind of you. My name is Anna. One day, all seven gems will be found. But what if I'm no longer here when that day comes? It will only recognize a descendant of Aden. End on. What is it? I hate to tell you this, but you've already lost the trust of your people. What? Only someone who holds the trust of the citizens of Del Tora can wield the protective powers of the belt. Oh. It seems the Shadow Lord realized this early on. His plan took many generations, but he waited patiently. If only I had been a stronger king. If only I had listened to you. My dear. You mustn't blame yourself for this. Besides, all is not lost. Our child will also be a direct descendant of Aden. If the Shadow Lord can be patient, so can we. We will hide, but not for ourselves. We will do it to protect our child and to prepare for the future. In time, we may go to the grave, but our child will live to lift the evil from our land. And so, King Endon and Queen Sharn fled the city of Del to protect their unborn child, the last hope for Del Tora. Jared stayed and repaired the belt in secret. He pledged his life to the quest of finding the lost gem. But my father got injured. So my parents decided that when I turned 16, they'd ask me to go instead of him. Wow, Leaf. Until now, I didn't know why you two were doing all this. What do you see? There's a large tree a short distance from here. It'd be perfect for us to hide under. Great. Hey, Barda. You guys go ahead. What's going on? Another Akbaba. I'm not the same as I was back then. One Akbaba doesn't scare me. What are you talking about? Barda! Oh. What on earth were you thinking? Sure you could take on one, but we need you alive. Yeah. Look, you've got to save your strength for the fights that matter. <sighs> what got into me? Sorry about that. It's just that listening to your story brought back all kinds of memories that I sometimes wish I didn't have. Still, it's no excuse. Pretty safe, don't you think? You 
even I can tell. This tree is a good tree. I think I'd have to agree. Hmm. What's that, Mr. Tree? You think we should get some rest? Well, if you say so. Sweet dreams. Thank you.